Hi, Sam here with CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultants Express Tip on using milling components. When we ended last time, we had an overlay component with a minimum of an 8 inch depth. So when it had more than 8 inches, it would follow the existing ground at the bottom of the component, but when there was not an 8 inch clearance, then it would extend down into the existing ground. This time, let's look at creating a milling component to give us the volume of the area that needs to be milled out for this particular template. I'll bring up the template editor. I'll add a new component, overlay stripping. I want the top of this component to follow the surface, and I want the bottom to follow the lowest of either the surface or the component. I'll turn on stripping component. This really has no effect on how the component reacts in Modeler, but it does tell the component whether it is a quantity to be added or a quantity to be taken away when we get into the end area volumes. Now I'll trace the bottom of the component. I'll change the name for the next point. And give the component three points right along the bottom of the previous component. I'll finish, and now I want to constrain each of these points to the point above. The points that are already constrained, I'm going to delete their constraints and add a full constraint to the point above with a zero horizontal offset. And do the same thing with the final point. Now I'll go back to Roadway Designer go to my template drops and synchronize and now I have a milling component that you see in this area where it needs to mill so that the previous overlay component can have the 8 inch minimum and then as I step through you'll see that the component disappears in the areas where there is no milling needed Thanks for watching. You can find more MicroStation and Inroads tips at civilcadconsultant.com. While you're there, sign up for our email list and we'll notify you when we post new tips.